Once upon a time, there lived a merchant named Charles in a town. He had a beautiful daughter named Talia. One day, a grand fair was held in the town. And Talia was excitedly exploring the fair with her friends. Meanwhile, in the nearby city, a rich merchant's son named Robert was reading the newspaper left on the kitchen table. When he spotted an article about the fair happening in a nearby town. Excited by the news, Robert walked into the dining room where his father, Adam, was enjoying breakfast. Dad, can I go to the fair in the nearby town today? Robert asked eagerly. Adam looked up from his plate. He was chewing a piece of toast. The fair? Okay. Just be back before dark. And don't spend too much money. Thanks, Dad. I promise I will be careful. Robert replied, a big smile on his face. Adam nodded, taking a sip of his coffee. Have fun. But remember to be polite and keep your wits about you. Sure. I will see you later. Robert called out as he dashed out the door. Robert hurried to his friend John's house. Excitement bubbling inside him. He knocked on the door. And John opened the door with a smile. Hey. Robert. What's up? John asked. I just read about the fair in the nearby town. Let's go. Robert exclaimed. Whoa. Let's go. John replied. The two friends went to the railway station. When they got there, they approached the counter. Two tickets to the town, please. Robert said, handing over some money. After getting their tickets, they waited eagerly on the platform. Soon, the train arrived. And they climbed aboard, finding seats by the window. As the train chugged along, they saw fields and trees go by. In no time, they reached the town and stepped off the train. After getting off, they walked through the streets. They were excited about the fair. Look at the colorful tents! John shouted, pointing ahead. Let's go. This is going to be amazing. Robert replied. As Robert walked around the fair, he saw Talia. She was laughing with her friends, and her smile was bright. Robert felt his heart race. At that moment, he knew he had fallen in love. He consulted his friend about ways to reach the girl and get introduced. The friend said, Don't lose patience. If you are so intent on marrying her, go and talk to her honestly. Let's know her heart. And then we must take further steps. Robert went to Talia and said, I am Robert. 
I have fallen in love with you at first sight. I want to marry you. Don't reject me, or my life will lose meaning. It made Talia uneasy. After a while, she said, I would have gladly married you. But you have come to me too late. I am engaged and shall be married in five days. Please forget me. I can't. I can't. If you don't marry me, I will take my life or kidnap you. Whatever the result. Robert said. No, Robert. That will defame me. My parents will be in grief. What about me? Robert sobbed. Don't worry. If you want me, you will get me. After marriage, I will come to you. That's my word. But don't do any outrageous things. Robert told his friend about Talia's promise. The friend felt that it would be a morally wrong act. He advised Robert to forget about her. Robert also realized that his friend was right. Meanwhile, Talia got married. On the nuptial night, when her husband came to her. She said, Master, I have a request. The husband said politely, Say it, darling. Anything. Talia said everything about her promise to Robert. The husband didn't want to lose a truthful wife like Talia. He allowed his bride to go to Robert and keep her word. So, Talia decked up as a bride and set out to the house of Robert. The bride, laden with costly jewels, was going in the darkness of night alone on the road. A thief held her up to rob the jewels. Talia told the thief that she was going to fulfill a promise. On her way back, she would herself surrender her jewelry. Talia promised the thief. Stunned by the strange truth, the thief let her go and waited for her return. Talia, as a bride, arrived there. She said, Robert, I have come to you to fulfill my promise. Meanwhile, Robert had changed his mind. He said, Talia, I am overwhelmed by your commitment and the large-heartedness of your husband. I am not going to defile myself by dishonoring you. You must return to your husband. I salute you both. On her way back, she met the thief, who was very surprised at her prompt return. In reply to the thief's question, Talia told how Robert refused to become a sinner. The thief let her go without robbing her. He realized that true strength lies in keeping promises. Moral Keeping promises is a sign of true strength. 
and love should never result in dishonor or harm.